Well, we know Spokane and North Idaho have been growing. It's been the topic of our ongoing series, Boomtown. But today, we're getting the hard data about just how much we're growing. So breaking down those statistics, political reporter Casey Decker joining us here at the set. So Casey, what do the numbers actually show? Yeah, well, they confirm a lot of what we really already knew, that our region is growing rapidly, and it's facing a severe housing shortage as well. But let's go ahead and compare that now to the rest of the country. We'll head on over to the wall and look at this new data that just came out from the Census Bureau. Uh, this was just released today and it's the most local data that we've gotten access to from the 2020 census. So they broke this down into categories like metro area or county. For our purposes, we'll go by county and we'll start with the stat how much of the population of each county has grown between the 2010 census and the 2020 census. This is just the numerical increase in population. Now you look at these orange counties. These are where the population has decreased. The blue counties are where it's increased. And you can see most of the counties in the country are actually decreasing right now as more and more people move into consolidated urban areas. But there's an exception, and that's the West. Most of the West, especially the Northwest right now, is growing. We're seeing that in our local counties as well. You might not be able to say see quite here, but Kootenai and Spokane are definitely a darker blue. We are growing pretty quickly. You can see Spokane nearly 70,000 new residents since 2010. Kootenai County about 33,000 new residents. That makes Spokane County out of more than 3,100 counties the 90th fastest growing county in the country by number of people. But really, the stat that we want to look for here is going to be a percentage increase. So let's take a look at that as well, because that's the one that really gives you the relative sense of how quickly uh, counties are growing. And again, we're seeing the same thing when it comes to the national map. A lot of these more rural counties are decreasing and the Pacific Northwest, the inland Northwest is increasing. When we break it down by percentage, we can see here Spokane County growing by 14 and a half percent. That's County 238, which doesn't seem that high, but you know, it's out of 3100 counties. And then Kootenai County here, number 81 of more than 3100 counties with nearly 24 percent growth. Growth. And finally, let's look at a metric that we care a lot about right now, and that's housing vacancy. Now, this is the percentage of units that are actually available for people to move into. A low number would mean relatively high demand compared to supply, which we know we're seeing that right now in our region, and this data confirms that. Again, darker areas, darker counties are going to be where there's more vacancy, so lighter counties mean less vacancy, less housing availability. In Spokane County right now, just over 5% vacancy. That makes us county number 3,003 of 3,143 counties. That is the bottom 5% when it comes to vacancy. Now, Kootenai County is seeing a little better, 10% vacancy, but that's still the bottom third. And by the way, one of the like top 10 least vacant counties is actually Franklin County in the Tri-Cities. So Washington has a huge housing shortage, and this new census data is confirming that right now. Our area is definitely indeed booming, and though maybe not in the top tier in terms of just raw growth, we're certainly up there and then when it comes to housing we are definitely in the very bottom tier for availability. Whitney yeah, Mark. Tough situation if you're looking for a house to buy or rent right now. Casey thank you very much.